So I have a new exercise uh, video, whatever, for you to get better at changing meters. And uh, I haven't even written any rhythms in here. So the idea is that we're going to look at each of these um, lines and conduct our way through and chant the uh, beats and the divisions of the beats. So in the first one, we see uh, which starts out in 2-4, so that's going to have two quarter note beats. And uh, when we chant it, we'll chant the eighth notes. And in fact, so this whole exercise will chant eighth notes. When we get to the 6-8, you'll see that I've specified that the quarter note becomes a dotted quarter note. So that's a steady beat value, because of course we conduct 6-8 in two, two dotted quarter note beats. And that means that from the 3-4 to the 6-8, we'll have three beats and then two beats of equal length. But that means that the eighth notes in the compound meter of 6-8 or later in the compound meter of 9-8 are going to be shorter. In fact, they're going to be in relation to the duples of the simple meter. They will sound like triplets. Um, and so you need to remember that when you're moving from simple meter to compound meter when you have a steady beat value. And this is an important thing to be able to do even, even in older music uh, just because of, of relations between sections of music. Um, count on being able to do this kind of, um, I don't know, rhythmic math in your head. Um, so let us chant our way through the eighth notes of exercise number one. Ready, go. One and two and one and two and three and one and a two and a one and two and one and a two and a three and a one and two and three and. Okay, if you had any trouble with that, I would encourage you to go back, try it again, Chant it with me till you can chant it steadily. So now let's have a look at number two, um, where we have half note beats. So we have a 3-2 measure, and then a 2-2 measure, and then a 9-4 measure. So let's do the same thing that we did in number one, uh, except this time with half note beats and quarter note divisions. And again, basically the same thing is going to happen here. We, we have specified a steady beat value. So those dotted half note beats in the 9-4 measure will all be the same length as the half note beats were in the 2-2 measure. And that means, again, that the quarter note uh, duples of the simple measure, uh, of the simple uh, meter, will become triplet sounding quarter notes in the compound meter. Okay, so uh, Let's start with the 3-2 measure, and we're so it's going to be the same through throughout, so 6-4, same thing, steady beat value. And let's uh, conduct our way through this one, chanting quarter notes. So, ready, go. 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 and 1 and a 2 and a 1 and 2 and 3 and. Okay, same thing. If you had trouble with that, go ahead, rewind, do it with me again. Okay, let's look at number three. Now we, we're back to quarter note beats. So we have a quarter note, three, four, two, four. Oh, look at that. There's a three, eight measure with a steady note value. So one way of dealing with that would be to uh, conduct it in one. And in fact, that's the way I would prefer to do it. So I would count that as one and uh, and uh, But we're going to keep a steady eighth note pulse going there, which is not where the beat is. So that beat basically, that we're going to have in that 3-8 measure is going to feel longer. And then we're, again, back in 3-4, back in 2-4. And this time, uh, we've got both. So we had a steady note value there. Now we have a steady beat value. So the 6-8, each of the dotted quarter note beats in 6-8 are going to last just as long as the quarter note beats did in the 2-4. We'll conduct them both in 2. 
That means that our subdivisions will sound like triplets when we move to the compound meter. So let's try chanting that one. So ready, go. One and two and three and one and two and one and a one and two and three and one and two and one and a two and a one and two and. Good. I hope you were conducting too. And again, if you had problems, go back, rewind. It's the glory of videos. You can do that. So then we can move on to number four. And this one gets a little more exciting because we have, um, again, we have both a steady note value transition and a steady beat value transition. So we have to contend with both kinds. Plus, uh, we look and we, you know, we have some four, four, three, four, and we have six, eight. These are common meters that we see a lot. And three, eight, two, eight, three, eight mixed in with those. So that suggests to me that in the context of the other things in the exercise, that we should conduct those three, eight and two, eight measures in one. And so if we're sort of chanting eighth note pulses while we conduct them, uh, we'll conduct a, a long one beat measure in the first three eight measure, and then a shorter one beat measure in two eight that only has two eighth notes in it. So then when we get to, we will conduct one, and then in one and in one, and six eight measure will be in two, the 4-4 four, four measure, because we have a steady 8th note value, um, those beats will get shorter uh, because the 8th notes will stay steady. And then when we move to 6-8, again, the, the, the beats will stay the same, but those 8th note pulses that we are chanting will have to get faster, and they will get faster, not generically faster, but exactly in the ratio of a triplet to a duplet. Okay, and then I'd say that when we go back to 3-4, because that was the last thing specified, that's probably what we're going to stick with, and we'll stick with a steady beat value. Okay, let's try chanting that one. Remember to conduct the 3-8-2-8-3-8 measures in one. That's not the only way to do it, but, um, but I, I think uh, that's probably your best bet. And that's what I'm going to do. So if you want to do it with me, uh, we'll do it together. So ready, go. One and a one and one and a one and a two and a one and two and three and four and one and a two and a one and two and three and. How did you do? Uh, again, as with all of them, if you messed it up, please go back, review, just master this, and it will make taking dictations um, when these meters change so much easier. Um, and it is really something that you should be fluent in, and not just for modern music. Um, there's lots of older music that counts on having accurate transitions like this. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful.